Hey everyone, welcome. We are here with Spore. Now you may be like, why are you playing Spore Game Raiders? Well, I remember on the Terraria Reddit that there was a person or maybe multiple people posting Terraria bosses, enemies, and other things as Spore creatures. So I wanted to give it a go myself. Let's create some Terraria bosses in Spore. So let's hop to the create menu here. Go into, yeah, I guess the creature creator, unless we want to make like a vehicle. I don't know. Maybe if we get to like the golem and the mech bosses, we go to like the vehicle stuff. Yeah, let's go straight to the creature creator. Just the straight up creature creator, nothing else, no tribal, no civilian, whatever space stuff. Let's get to it. Obviously, the first boss we're gonna be making here is the king slime. So right away, let's start by getting the color. We need a nice blue here. I need a straight up blue, nothing else. Like a lightish blue, that looks like a perfect color already. Uh, I don't think we need any scales or anything on it. We don't need any details like that, I don't know. Let, let me see. Oh, that changes the whole entire thing. Uh, no, nah, I don't like that. I think it'll be fine like that unless we do want some scales. I, that honestly doesn't look terrible. <laughs> but no, let's just go with the base blue, all right? All right, now we gotta, it's the King Sam. I gotta give it some girth. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put its head down here. I'm gonna put its booty down here. And then now we gotta, you gotta give this thing some meat. I barely remember how to create things in Spore but uh you know i'll try my best here to remember things it's looking pretty good so far we're definitely getting the thickness that the king slime has but yeah i did stream spore like a long long time ago and it was a pretty good series a lot of people tuned into those spore streams we had a lot of fun trying to take over the world in spore maybe i'll bring it back again since it was very popular back then i don't know you guys let me know in the comments maybe we can make like a terraria creature and try and take over the world in spore oh no 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 we don't need more honestly what if we just do this? That <laughs> It's kind of small, but like at the same time, you know, I'm not going for the perfect size. Maybe we add a little bit, okay? We add a little bit, but we still want it to be round. Like that, that should be perfect. <laughs> so far, so good. And that's really it, honestly. I think we just put a little crown on this baby and I think we're already good. What is a good crown? Ooh this right here the crystals would be a good crown that might be the way to go is though those crystals right there see i'm wondering if i put this on his head right can i like change the color of it let's go ahead let's make it bigger oh we giving this boy a crown there we go all right there you go honestly i think that looks pretty good i think let's see it in action let's see how it moves because i'm honestly interested to see how it moves ah yes that's exactly how the king slime moves <laughs> let me see a jump that's all that matters, okay? <laughs> it jumps. So if I just have it just like jump constantly, that's King Slime right there. Maybe like gamer it is. You should put the ninja inside of it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if that's possible. This is this is not too bad though. <laughs> Let's move on to the Eye of Cthulhu. All right, Eye of Cthulhu. Obviously, I'm gonna be making mouth open Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, we need another round dude here. So let me just straighten out the spine right here, and then let's just let's get him rotund. Honestly, it might be better if we have it like that. Rotund in the back or rotund in the front and then very skinny in the back. That might be the way. I don't know. Let's see. Honestly, it might just be better if he's just like a full circle. And then we, yeah, let's just make him a full circle. And then we'll add like a tail or something. Okay, this this is not a circle. You know what? Let's just make him just like the king song. <laughs> All right, that should work so far. Quick little warning right here. If you guys have sensitive eyes to flashing, there's a little like bug with the OBS and Spore where things like flash and move around. I don't know why it happens. But just, you know, letting you know, putting a little warning right here. Uh Oh, okay. We got to do, we got to do something with the colors here we might actually have to have some detail in here because we obviously need the white and red together so can I, let's make the base as white as possible and then let's see if we can have a little red going i don't know that red is not bad but i need the base coat to be white oh man i think we found it i think we found it i feel like it's a little uneven but i think this might be it maybe we can add even more here add in some details okay these details oh there you go this okay i don't know <laughs> i hope the footage isn't too buggy for you guys because like when i like change things i'm looking at obs and it is freaking out when i change things okay kind of this works we could do something with this <laughs> all right for some reason like the paint isn't staying on the thing <laughs> Like, why? I don't know why it's not staying on when I switch to the other side. No, see, that's saving exit, so I don't know what's going on here. So I guess I kind of had to, like, guess <laughs> what I'm doing next. All right, obviously, we need some, we need some teeth. We need a big mouth. This right here. 
Okay. I don't know if we can have them on both sides. That's not how the eye is. This is a lot harder than I thought. I mean, like, kind of the eye of Cthulhu mouth is like this, but it's like, it's really more teeth than anything. So maybe we we don't even have a mouth. We just go straight to, like, spikes and try and make teeth out of spikes. <gasps> Wait, I got an idea. What do you guys think? Now we kind of got, like, the eyeball shape, and then this part right here is going to be the mouth. I think I'm a genius. So the eye, it has like four teeth per so let me try my best to put four teeth on the top and bottom here might look a little weird it's all good we could like space them out and stuff later let's just get them placed and then we'll we'll do all the details in a second all right what do you guys think look at this look at this let's add the paint let's see it i think this looks amazing i know i'm i'm a, I'm a genius let's go ahead let's see it in action here okay that's not how the eye usually moves. We gotta kinda like move backwards and then it looks kinda normal. Look at that. I can hear boss music one playing right now. Don't you guys hear it too? Perfect, on to the next boss. All right, the eater world should be easy. I went into the earlier creature one. Like this is like when you first go on land. Shoot, even, even in water still. I feel like we could really make the eater worlds very simple here. It's a worm, let's give it some length, okay? And let's go ahead, let's make everything the same size just so i can you know straighten out the spine here and then this is where we really get to work let's get a nice overhead view and uh obviously the eater has segments so we got to make the segments so that means that not every bone should be big it should just be like every couple bones should be big so that's exactly what i'm gonna do here and it should work out fine i hope there we go we got a nice little body to play with here no legs the eater does not have legs but you know what the eater does have it does have eyes so let's go ahead let's give it some eyes uh this is the head honcho eye we needed to be looking forward a little bit and then the rest of the eyes they're literally just gonna be there i know they kind of look forward on the regular eater but you know for the sake of us being able to tell the difference we'll have the, the main one pointing forward i actually gotta move them up a little bit here if we really want to get those details because like i feel like i really could i could do some work here with the eater there we go looking good so far and obviously the eater has a mouth let's put this mouth on him here and uh, let's go ahead let's make it bigger because you know this is that's what the eater is he's got the big mouth on him he eats the world that looks good enough i would love to get like a smaller mouth can i get a smaller mouth i kind of can't i think we get the smaller mouth because that's what he looks like too and honestly we're pretty much done here maybe i can add to the tail a little bit uh make the tail like skinny fat i don't know the tail kind of looks like that a little bit and then if i really could if there was more options for this specific uh one i could really get some details in there maybe i still can let's see here it's kind of like it has these little like bulbous things on it but they're really tiny oh damn i think i can get these details in here hold up hold up i think i might have just found it oh that's the max i can go apparently there's a why is there a, a budget limit and create a character like what <laughs> what kind of what kind of ea stuff is this all right whatever that's that's good enough i guess but you saw the you saw the vision let's get the color in here now i'm sorry that you guys get like flashbang every now and then nothing i could do about it it's just how small it is all right there you go kind of got that like doo-doo brown color that the eater has honestly i think this looks fine i don't think i need to touch anything it does kind of look like a floating piece of shit but like low-key that's what the eater looks like i think we've we've done good here this is probably my favorite one. All right, so last but not least here, we're gonna do the brain. Uh, the brain, again, that's another nice and rotund thing. A lot of rotund bosses in Terraria, you know? Nice, like, oval-shaped, round bosses in Terraria. Like, this one legit is gonna be an oval. So, like, this shouldn't be too bad. I think that's the, the best shape we're gonna get <laughs> Looks like Beanos. But yeah, let's see here. Uh, we're doing the open mouth one. Oh, God, this is gonna be hard this is gonna be hard maybe i have another idea maybe we do something similar to uh the eye cthulhu where we have like a hole that we can work on let's see if i can do that because that would make it way easier if i had like a hole in the middle and i could add all this stuff there it might look weird though honestly it might look just like the eye cthulhu okay i'm not gonna lie it's not exactly how i wanted it to turn out <laughs> uh either i don't know like all the full controls in spore or this is the best i could do here so uh, I think we're, we're gonna go with it. 
I know the shape may not be the greatest, but oh well, it's gonna make our life easier having a nice area we can focus because the second form of the brains get a lot of teeth, much like the eye. So honestly, we go like this here. We just start stuffing teeth in here. It's gonna look good. And I believe it does have teeth actually like in the front and in the back, unless that's just like, I don't know arteries connecting to each other connecting to the heart in the middle now we got to find something that looks like a heart and honestly i feel like we put one of these things in the middle make it nice and big that might look like a nice beating heart i think we put this right here problem solving right we put that there we make it nice and big oh come on that's the biggest this thing gets that's kind of whack we got a better one it's kind of small <laughs> I wanted one, come on, it's gotta be one that, that gets bigger than that. There you go, that's a little bit better, I'm not gonna lie. That might be it, it may not look exactly like a heart, but like, I mean, nothing's really gonna look exactly like anything. Now obviously the heart has an eye. It's got an eye, let's, let's put this eye. I think this eye would be good. Oh no, can it not go here? No, are you kidding me? We were almost to perfection. Okay, I was able to improvise the eye. I got like one of these like stem eyes and I put it right there. It's kind of on the back too, but maybe that's a good thing. So there you go. We kind of got the eye there. Thank God. Now all we need now is kind of like the spine that's down here. This might be perfect for a spine. Unless there's a literal spine. There's a sprinkle. I don't know. It sounds like knockoff Pringles. I think we go with this though. This is going to be the spine. Can I bring the body up any higher? There you go. Yeah, bring the body up higher. Let's get this spine down here. I have no idea how to like zoom in and out and spore. It's kind of uh, very sketchy how I'm doing things. <laughs> like, look at this. I'm, ha I'm having troubles here. I'm just trying to make one. Just one. Okay, I I'm about to punch my monitor with how hard this is. Just, just one. Just one together at the bottom please oh my fucking god okay don't worry i figured out i figured out how to zoom in very close to just decking my monitor right there and being down a couple hundred dollars all right last thing we need is the little like tentacles at the bottom and we use these for the uh, eye so i see no problem with using them again so we can make them like that we can also you know obviously make them bigger uh, i think that's perfect because it does have like a long one and then a short one all right, there's our brain of Cthulhu. Obviously, we gotta add the colors. Let's see what we can do with the colors. I don't know how this is gonna go. Hold up, I think we might've found it right here. I think we might've found it. I think that's it. That's probably the best we're gonna get to like a brainy look with the, the options that we have here, I believe. Honestly, this is not too bad either. I think I like this one better. There you go. I think that screams brain of Cthulhu. Now let's see it in action here. Let's see how it moves around. I'm very interested. Oh yes, that's perfect. Okay, I don't know about the, <laughs> I don't know about the head part kind of splitting open. That honestly looks terrifying, but that's what the brain of Cthulhu is terrifying you know it's a gore creature i think i did pretty good here today but yeah you guys in the comments let me know if you want to see more this was pretty fun i enjoyed this if you want to see more we can do even more bosses uh, i'm kind of excited to get to the mech bosses because like i said i'll go into the vehicles and we'll make like some vehicles that are mech bosses and let me know if you want to see a spore playthrough where we play as like a terraria creature i think playing as like the eater of worlds would be fun because like once we get into the later stages like the more advanced stages we can evolve from the eater of worlds into the destroyer literally i think that might be cool you guys let me know i could always stream a series like that and post the highlights on the channel but yeah thank you everybody for watching i'll see y'all next time